Hello everyone, my name is Ebola and welcome to another episode of your channel. In today's video, in 2024, we're going to dive down top 10 best management games you can play on PC. So, so grab a snack. But before we dive to the video, I really appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel and like the video. Let's dive to the video. Number 10, Mega Aquarium. Tycoon games have covered them parks and zoos extensively before, but Mega Aquarium might be first truly a great aquarium based tycoon game. The premise and the core gameplay loop is almost exactly what you'd expect. You're in charge of developing a tiny aquarium into a fully fly sea life center. However, this stands out as a game that really cares about aquatic life and that shines through in every tank and information panel. Managing that transformation means you have to learn a lot about fish, a lot. There are nearly 100 different species you can have in your aquarium and they all need different care routines and environments. You really have to strategize once you have got a large and bustling aquarium, so don't expect this one on your list of the best relaxing games. Number 9, Empire of Sin. While this mobster theme strategy game is still finding its feet, this has a healthy dose of tycoon in its DNA, as aside from engaging turn-based gang-on-gang warfare, you are also trying to run a respectable mob business as well. From a few humble species to a city-wide criminal empire, you've got to expand your rackets and your alcohol production to keep the people of Chicago happy during Prohibition Era America. Royal gangs will also be looking to expand their own business and it's up to you whether you try to coexist, cooperate or take them down yourself. Number 8. Let's build a zoo. If your childhood memories are tinged with the nostalgia of building perfect zoo and then let's build a zoo is the one for you. This spiritual successor to Zoo Tycoon recaptures the magic, albeit with a pixel aesthetic cute enough to rival Stardew Valley, as you might expect, let's build a zoo places you in charge of turning a plot of land into a vibrant zoo, filled with animal enclosures, eateries, parks and other colorful attractions. Hire zookeepers, kiosk staff and veterinarians to keep your animal and visitors happy. In compelling twists, Let's Build a Zoo is outfitted with its own morality system, allowing you to delve into the city underbelly of zoo management in the pursuit of capitalism. Start a breeding program to maintain your animal population or take a walk on wild side with DNA splicing to create twisted abominations for your visitors to gawk at. If you ever wanted to see a crocodile, that's a crocodile fused with a duck if you couldn't guess, then make your dreams a reality with Let's Be Lazoo. Number 7. Tropico 6. This is just as much a city building game as it is a tycoon game, but it's still one of the freshest management experiences to have come out in the past decade. As a newly appointed president of fledgling Banana Republic, it's your job to build up what was once former colonial outpost into a global economic and tourism powerhouse. You've got to attract fresh immigrants as well as take care of your existing population, exploit your island's natural resources and create idyllic tourist spots to attract rich travelers. You can even engage in international diplomacy, playing the major power against each other and reaping as many benefits as you can. Be wary though, dictators are only tolerated too much and it's game over if you get deposed by rebels. Number 6. Prison Architect As far as tycoon games go, Prison Architect may seem unconventional at first glance. As a warden of the private prison, you're tasked with building a penitentiary that can keep the most dangerous inmates behind bars. Prison Architect provides the tools for construction but leaves the sticky ethical repercussions of prison management entirely up to you. If you are concerned with the welfare and reformation of the incarcerated, you can direct your funding towards healthcare, education and recreation activities during their stay. Of course, there are numerous grants available for reformation initiatives and inmate well-being, so you can expect to gain some returns via this route. However, if you are looking to change your for-profit for prison into a full-profit prison, you can disregard all those pesky ethical concerns and use federal money for rampant borrowing instead. 
with armed guards and harsh penalties to keep prisoners in line, no matter how you choose to design your prison, its continued running requires careful balancing of the books. Prison architect is a stark reflection of profiteering of human suffering all wrapped up in a compelling tycoon management game that's a riot to play. Number 5. Two Point Hospital A spiritual successor to theme hospital, Two Point Hospital has all zany sense of humor and over-the-top visualization of medical practice as Bullfrog's original, but with an updated design and Two Point Studios unique twist, Set in the fictional Two Point County setting, you have to build up a healthcare center from the ground up, balancing the needs of your patients and your bank balance as you deal with that minefield that is private healthcare system. Experiencing a unique and wacky disease that will need curing, and make sure you keep your staff happy as well. Two Point Campus, the recent sequel, takes many of same mechanics and humor and whisks it to the college campus. It takes many, many of the same boxes as TPH, so it's a matter of picking the setting you prefer. Number four. Planet Coaster. If Two Point Hospital is a successor to Team Hospital, then the Planet Coasters aim to be a successor of the one of the classic tycoon games, Roller Coaster Tycoon. Frontier Developments is attempting to create the ultimate theme park simulator with complex tools to create the most ambitious rides, even ones from the real world, as well as a deep simulation to run the park as you see fit. The studio has also invested a lot into community sharing tools so that even if you are not the most creative thinker, you'll be able to find something to inspire you in your own theme park journey. There's also a safari park game from Frontier out now as well, called Planet Zoo. If that takes your fancy instead, you can go and check out that. Number 3. Jurassic World Evolution 2 Probably the least business-minded of the least, <laughs> Building and running your own version of Jurassic Park is still core to Jurassic World Evolution 2 premise. Firstly, you need to bioengineer your new dinosaur and create enclosures for them before you can then expand with the dedicated tourism and entertainment facilities. Espionage and natural disasters will conspire to make things difficult for you, and should the vaults happen, your management skills will be tested to the limit as you try to contain the problem before everything collapses. The sequel builds on the original system and then applies them to brilliant effect in the new chaos theory mode, which effectively puts you in the command seat in scenarios that are directly based on the movies. Number 2. Anno 1800 Much like Tropico, the Anno series has just as much to do with the city building as it does ec economics. But there is a healthy business portion as you set up production lines and supply chains, exploiting your surroundings in both the old world and the new world. 1800's a specific twist on the series involves how industrializations impact society as well as making you run two cities at once, one in the new world and one in the old world, necessitating the need to secure trade routes and the supply lines between where raw materials are sourced and where they are manufactured. It also has a pretty robust naval combat portion if you're also looking for some high stakes action at sea. But before we dive to the last one, I really appreciate if you liked the video and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed the video and comment for more ideas. Thank you everyone, my name is Abulan. Let's dive to the last one. And number one, Game Dev Tycoon. Other than being the only game on this list, actually use Tycoon in its title. This is also a pretty niche topic. If you have ever wanted a top line abstract view of what it's like to actually run a company dedicated to designing video games, Game Dev Tycoon is a pretty neat way of experiencing it. Starting alone in your basement and working your way up to a fancy office with the actual employees, you first need to choose what game you want to design, including genre, what engine to use, extra features and more. And then you've got to keep working away until completion. The pressure comes from keeping the money rolling in. Every month you need to pay yourself and your staff as your progress in the game. Some projects will come from publishers which have set deadlines. It's a surprisingly intricate but also simplistic window into what is a vibrant, multifaceted world. Thank you everyone, I see you in the next episode.